Hi, I'm Bob Fieser. I'm one of the vascular surgeons at the University of Florida in Gainesville. Uh, my poster is on endovascular treatment of thoracic aortic emergencies. Um, it's a retrospective study looking at our experience of aortic uh, pathology treated with endovascular technology. Over the past 10 years at the University of Florida, we've performed nearly 600 thoracic endovascular aortic repairs. Of those, 100 of them have been deemed emergent by the attending vascular surgeon. Most of the time, this is ruptured uh, aneurysms, penetrating ulcers, uh, acute type B dissections with malperfusion, traumatic transection, and the like. Um, and through the years, we've done 100 uh, thoracic stents um, of these pathologies. All of them were performed successfully. There were two intraoperative deaths, and what we found out is although they are technically challenging, up to 20 to 25 percent of them need some sort of adjuvant endovascular technique, either a stent in a renal artery or a visceral artery. Um, the postoperative management of these patients is really where, it, uh, uh, where the uh, complexity starts. Uh, the 30-day or in-hospital death rate was 22 percent, which is probably better than historical open surgical uh, repair of these uh, entities. Um, but the median mean length of postoperative stay is uh, two and a half weeks. Uh, and then significantly, 20% uh, of these patients needed additional procedures up to three and a half years out after their index procedure. So uh, challenging pathology and physiology to start with, uh, and then these patients demand long-term follow-up if they live through their original insult.